Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, the 3rd of September, first Tuesday of September. I'm Pastor Bruce Kishnick, Senior Pastor here at Grace Lutheran in New Albany, Indiana. And I'm glad to have you with me this morning. The title for our thought today is Becky's Birthday, and I'm going to be a little self-indulgent today just to give you a heads up. Uh, the reading is from Proverbs 31, selected verses. It reads, A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Today is my wife Becky's birthday. I won't say how many she's had, but I can say she's now just one behind me. I started dating her when she was just 16. We got married when she was just 17. She was 21 when we, she graduated with me from Concordia Teachers College in River Forest, Illinois. And she was uh, not yet 22 when our firstborn, Andy, was born. 15 months later, Dan was added to our family. At 29, she gave birth to our daughter, Krista. Um, by then, she was teaching kindergarten at St. Paul Lutheran School in Royal Oak, Michigan. And I turned in her master's thesis the day that Krista was born. Two years later, she moved with me to Evansville in Indiana, where she established the preschool program, and she put up with me as her principal. Three years went by, and another move came, this time to Fort Wayne, Indiana, and the seminary. And on August 20th, 1990, we arrived here at Grace in New Albany. While we stayed put here for the last 34 years, Becky has not been static. She worked as a trainer for 4C Community Outreach in Louisville. Then she started the daycare program at Epiphany in New Salisbury. From there, she made the jump to public school teaching, kindergarten, and first grade. During that time, more college classes were taken in administration, and she did an internship as an assistant principal at Parkwood Elementary in Clarksville. From there, she made the jump to principal of the largest elementary school in Greater Clark County Schools at that time. It was Wilson Elementary in Jeffersonville. She did that for 10 years, then went back to the classroom for a couple of years until retirement came about five years ago. Sit around and drink tea? <laughs> no, that's not Becky. She established York Academy of Discovery in New Albany, where she herself takes five four-year-olds of various abilities and economic needs, and she preps them for kindergarten. She does that four days a week from 8.30 to 4. And what an education those kids get. Now, besides her professional endeavors, there were eight grandchildren born in the past 18 years. Five of them were close enough by to warrant Weekend babysitting duties and holiday and summertime sleepovers. And there were birthdays to celebrate and graduations to attend, weddings to plan, our parents to tend to and then to mourn when they passed, confirmation parties and scores of games of various sports to attend or to listen to on, on her app. And she did all these things while married to a pastor of a big parish. I was out of the house nearly every Monday through Thursday with meetings, confirmation, premarital counseling, visitations, and others. And the weekends weren't much better. Once we started Saturday service, when I was preaching, I was gone Saturday evening. And of course, Sunday mornings, and then typically there were classes or visitations after church too yet. Had she been less understanding and less supportive of my calling, 
She could have made things harder for me. But she understood hard work and dedication because she herself has practiced those things all of her life. She was the first to recognize my calling, and she honored God's call by standing beside me all these years. She was a helper fit for me. The pastor's wife is often seen in the background of the ministry. She doesn't preach sermons or do children's messages. She doesn't necessarily lead the Sunday school or greet people at the door. But a pastor's wife does a hundred little things every month that enable her husband to meet the needs of the congregation. Becky helped with a lot more homework than I ever did. She gave more baths, fixed more hair, washed more clothes, took more messages, and affixed more band-aids and dried more tears than I did because she was in the home, at home in the evenings and on the weekends when I wasn't. Now, she's not the only pastor's wife who has done all these things. Most of them are just as self-giving, supportive, and sacrificial as she is. She just happens to be my wife. And on her birthday, I wanted to acknowledge her service to me and to our congregation. Her help and patience made my years of ministry possible and a whole lot more effective. And I simply wanted to say, thank you, dear. And I love you. The last chapter of Proverbs has a husband lauding his wife in much the same way. He stands in awe of her abilities and her efforts. He finds himself confident that while he is immersed in his ministry or vocation, she has his back. He not only trusts her, but he admires her skills and her aptitudes. She is a marvelous match and she is also a woman who honors God by serving her family, her husband, and her neighbors. Reminds me of the woman that I have at home. Since today is Becky's birthday, if you would be so moved, why not send her a birthday text? Her cell number is 502-797-7406. I'll repeat that again in a moment. She'll at first be puzzled and then tickled that people know it's her day and that they're taking the time to send her blessings. So thanks for letting me express my, myself and my love for my helpmate. I'll talk with you again next week. So God bless you. Would you pray with me? Our heavenly gracious God, we come before you today with thanksgiving for all your gifts and talents that you have blessed my wife with. But also, we thank you, thank you today for the wives of all the pastors through the years and those current who support and care for the pastors of congregations. It's sometimes a thankless job, sometimes a difficult one, sometimes a lonely one. And we give you thanks that in most of those cases, those women recognize their husband's calling and they're there to support and to help. Father, bless each one and bless their families, and we pray that you'd bless Pastor Woods and Trish. Bless her because she has to do much the same thing. And we give you thanks, Father, for the gifts and blessings of this day. So watch over us and our loved ones this day, and we commend ourselves into your care. All in Jesus' name. Amen. So just a couple things. The trip we were going to make to the women's professional soccer game has been canceled, mainly because... Nobody signed up for it, so nobody was interested, so we said, okay, we, we got you. Um, the other thing is, don't forget, Sunday, September 15th is a big day. We're going to celebrate our 50th year here in this building and in our sanctuary, and we're going to take a congregational picture between the services, so do all you can to be here between the services on the 15th. We want you to be in that picture. Um, and then after the late service, the elders will be serving their barbecue. And so it'll be a big day, a day of celebration, a day of giving thanks to the Lord. So, all right, now I'm going to repeat Becky's telephone number. So if you want to send her a message, once again, it's 502-797-7406. All right, thank you, and I'll talk to you next week. God be with you. Bye-bye.